Rational Function, Communication and Thinking Problem. Question 3. The model for the concentration Y of a drug in the bloodstream X hours after it is taken orally is Y equals to 7X over X square plus 2. What is the domain Y in the context? What do you know about the graph of Y just by looking at the question equation? Graph the function. Describe what happens to the concentration of the drug over 24 consecutive hours. Does the model seem reasonable? So, so this question has really three parts, right? Let's read it again. Question 3 says, the model of for concentration Y of a drug in the bloodstream X hours after it is orally taken is y equals to 7x over x squared plus 2. So what is the domain of y in this context, right? Of y in the context. So that's part one which we are interested in asking. What is the domain of this function? Second is, what do you know about the graph of y just by looking at the equation. So that's the second part. And third is describe what happens to the concentration of drug over 24 consecutive hours. Does the model seem reasonable? Okay. So these are different parts of the same question. And it is a very important question. I've seen it so many times in the test, right? Now, uh, as far as the domain is concerned, domain is that X has to be after the drug has been taken, so it's greater than or equal to zero, right? So, so that is the domain part of the function, correct? So let's say, so let's start with the domain. So let's say uh, the domain is that x belongs to real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to zero, right? So it is after the drug has been taken and the instance when it is taken at that point x is 0, right? Now, so immediately as it is taken, it is, it is actually 0, it starts with 0. Now, as soon as you take the drug according to this equation, it will, the model for the concentration y of a drug in the bloodstream x hours after it is taken orally. So it first increases, as you can see from the function, and then it will decrease and gradually taper off. Now, what do you know about the graph of y just by looking at the equation? So that is the next part. Let's try to answer that. And we can always come back to the first part and the other part, right? Now, looking at this, this equation, what you can see, that since the denominator is always positive, right, x squared plus 1 will never be negative. It is always positive. So, so what we can see here is that there is no vertical asymptote here, right? It is a continuous graph, correct? Now, so a couple of things which we can see. First, it is a continuous graph, right? Right, and we are seeing no vertical asymptote, correct? because denominator is never zero and we can say x uh, intercept so if i put y equals to zero it is zero at zero right at origin and even y intercept is at origin right so origin is a part of this graph correct now if x is very large then horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0, right? If x is very large, since the degree of denominator is more than the degree of numerator, so as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches 0, right? So, so these are the characteristics which we see as we look into this equation, right? So that is the answer for what do you know about the graph of y just by looking at the equation, correct? So, uh, so you got x-intercept, y-intercept, right, and, and asymptotes you've described. That's what, more than enough, right? 
graph the function okay so so we can graph the function also here now the next part is let's go back to the next part describe what happens to the concentration of the drug over 24 consecutive hours does the model seems reasonable now the third part is describe what happens to the concentration of the drug over 24 consecutive hours that means we literally have to make a table of values right so so when we have to make a table of values what we need here is you can make a table of values here I'm not doing the calculation here but I'm just telling you how to do it so you can put different values of X up to 24 hours right so so what you're trying to do here is you will write different values of X for the function Y equals to 7x over x squared plus 2 right if I write 0 here so I get a 0 correct that's my first value and if I write 1 here I get 7 divided by 3 right if I put 1 1 square here I get 7 divided by 3 you can always convert to decimals right to graph accurately if I write 2 here so it becomes 7 times 2 and this is 2 square is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, right? 2 will get cancelled. So, so I, I will get again the same value, uh, 7 over 3. So, let's say 2 here, 7 times 2 is 14. And then I have 6 here and I will cancel out 2, 2, right? So, I'll, I'll get 7 over 3. correct the same value similarly you can put different values and at the end you start putting because it's like uh, up to 24 hours so it all depends you can make you know as it gradually tapers off uh, you need not go that fine details right but here you will see that at between 1 and 2 it comes back to the same position do you understand so this this really means that there is some value in between 1 and 2 which should be higher correct it's kind of graph was going up but then we came to the same level right so so that means that you need to explore more here correct expand here to get the accuracy of the graph and i will suggest that using your calculator right so expand here a bit more right and then calculate values values at uh, <coughs> let's say 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 so explore some values in between right because i did my calculations and i did find that there is there is variation here right so if you plug in let's say 1.3 in place of x i'm just talking about x and fx values i'm not showing you the calculations here but i'm just telling you from my own results so if you plug in 1.3 here then the value of f of x you get is around 2.46 and 7 over 3 is basically 2.33 right so 7 over 3 is 2.33 so this is equal to let me write here equals to 2.3 reckon and if i plug in let's say 1.4 then you'll get around 2.5 like that and if i put 1.5 then you'll get two point around two point four seven. So two point four seven, two point four eight. Uh, these are the values which you get. Two point four seven. These are the values which you get. This is also two point four seven. So what I'm trying to say is, there are some values which are higher than two point three in between one and two. That's what I'm trying to say, right? So if you plug in those values, you will get. Now let me draw a graph for you so that you understand better how it is going to look like. So if you really sketch it, looking into those values, right, then you'll get a graph which will be kind of like this. It is going to taper off eventually to zero, right? So you, you will get what you found here is at one and two, let's say, these are the values you found at 1 and 2. Let's say this is 1, right? And this is at 2, let us say, right? Here is time, which is x, going in hours, right? 
x in hours and this is the concentration y sorry, uh, in the blood of the drug correct so the probably they have not given parts per million or whatever the units is if that is missing from this equation or whatever it is so so basically you will see a graph like this and you will be able to sketch this graph after filling in uh, this table right so you need not go into a lot of details or values at the end part of it as you can see like kinds of tapers off right so you could have here at 20 and 24 and find out what values you get which will be very very close to to zero maybe zero point two so when I did calculations I got zero point two nine here okay so and these values are two point nine so these values are ten times that value so in a graph this is one tenth of this correct so it is kind of tapering off to zero so that's the kind of graph which you get now so that explains part two and part three of this model now uh, does the model seems reasonable so from the graph you can see that the model really seems reasonable as soon as you take the drug you know it doesn't really get dissolved so fast so it takes time for body to actually get it so initially it is zero it may remain zero for some time depending on how fast or quickly uh, the drug really dissolves and shows its effect in the bloodstream because our digestive system does take about sometimes half an hour to one hour uh, maybe an hour right so so this part of the graph may not be that accurate so from zero to one hour may not be that accurate but then thereafter it seems to be quite okay so, so except for this region which is after zero it may have some discrepancies but thereafter at least af after an hour it shows a uh, good correspondence to the real life situation uh, that i think is my answer but, but the answer can vary okay thank you